in the Basketball Champions League. Arriving inside this uh, Palo Verde Arena. Chima Moneke and co. are looking to make some headlines to advance yet again in the competition. Well, as is the case, just checking the temperatures, making sure everybody's okay for Nutribullet Treviso as well. They have been in a, uh, a tough spot lately. They've lost both of their games. They're 0-2 in the Basketball Champions League. They've been struggling also in uh, the uh, Italian League. Back to Manresa having won one of their two games in the round of 16 and uh, clearly with designs on advancing in this competition. Both of these teams are yeah, but certainly Nutribullet Treviso has more work to do to, to catch up. And you look at Darshafika and Tofash Bursa also in action in Group J. That'll be tomorrow. So this famous arena, you know, again, as spectators continue to come in hoping uh, to, to see this uh, neutral bullet Treviso team breathe some breathe some life into the round of 16 campaign and you finish in the top two if they're going to advance and you can see right now Tofash Bursa and Dar Shafaga up at the top in first and second place well Tofash Bursa up at the top back to Manresa hoping to uh, at least for tonight to move into second place. Not much room for error at for Treviso. That was one of the greats there. Rafa Martinez and Joe Thomason and co. Uh, back to Manresa. Imagine they're in third place in Spain. There's Luke May. He's coming into form, of course. Uh, everybody knows him as uh, his time is March, and he keeps playing better and better uh, for this. Treviso. Great place to play. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, very happy to be here. So, yeah, what's going to happen tonight? Uh, I think it's going to be a tough game for both. Uh, we're going to try to play it in the best possible uh, as possible because we know that we need uh, to have a good performance if we want uh, to have a good option for win. So that was Pedro Martinez, the coach of Baxi Manresa. He's got Sylvain Francisco, uh, one of Francisco, rather one of the one of the real big storylines, really, of this team this season. Danny Garcia, Chima Moneke, Marxis Steinberg's, Rafa Martinez, Juan Pablo Vallette, Joe Thompson, Luke May, Danny Beth, and Jan Kuba Sima. So good to hear from uh, Coach Martinez. And as he says, they need to get some wins if they're going to progress. And for Treviso, you have to say they've got their backs against the wall right now. They cannot afford another loss tonight. And they're warming up in the hope uh, that this will be their night perhaps a spark for them for the rest of the season. Nicola Akele and uh, Nutribullo Treviso again came through the qualifying rounds. So coach, yeah, another game tonight. You already lost two games in the round of 16. What's going to happen today? Yeah. What will happen, I don't know. What we hope is to play a great game. We we know how our, op our opponents are doing a very good season in both competition. To be honest, especially in the first two games, it was really unlucky for our conditions. Uh, we come from a bad loss on the championship. For this, we have a lot of energy and we want to go on and to, to fight this competition that starting from the core round was always our like safety in the season and give us always a lot of energy. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you got to love both those coaches, including Coach uh, Minetti. He's got Dwayne Russell, Enrique Vittori, Leonardo Fagian, uh, Giordano Bortolani, Matteo Imbro, Matteo Kilo, Henry Sims, Mikhail Sokolowski, the Poland International, Thomas Dimsha, the Lithuanian International, Aaron Jones, and Nikola Akele, the Italy International. Some of those players uh, involved 
in the recent break for national teams, the window as teams try to qualify for uh, the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Of course, uh, those windows are throughout the year. We've had two, and there'll be another one coming up uh, this summer. So, great chance uh, for those guys to take a break, but of course, they're back in action. They've been playing uh, in their domestic competitions. And, uh, talked about Francisco. Here he is, uh, bouncing around like a pinball there in that uh, Baxi Manresa huddle. These guys spend all season together. Uh, it's all about camaraderie. It's all about teamwork. It's all about chemistry. And they are certainly a team uh, that has a lot of chemistry. Baxi Manresa, I'm pretty sure you would not have found anybody who would have predicted this team, Baxi Manresa, would have had uh, the campaign that they have had to date. And uh, again, uh, flying very high in Spain, highly regarded uh, that competition as one of the premier domestic competitions of all of Europe. They are third and hoping uh, to, again to, uh, to, to get a vital win in the round of 16 tonight. So Moneke, they're not going to have uh, Ismail Bako, uh, who obviously is uh, injured, still has a hand injury, which prevented him uh, from playing. Uh, in the last window, but they do have that young man right there, Jan Kubasima, young Spain international, Luke May, Thomason, Ballet. I'm sure that Pedro Martinez believes he's got the uh, the weapons to come out tonight uh, to get the job done on the road. Uh, but when you play a team that is desperate, like Nutribull and Treviso, they are extremely dangerous. And again, they had to make it through the qualifying rounds uh, just to make it to the regular season. So in some respects, uh, this is a team that really can't lose. I mean, they've already overachieved, I think, in many people's eyes for what they've been able to do. But again, Treviso, the city, has such a rich history of, of incredible basketball. And uh, their fans, hey, they've got high expectations every time this team plays. And they are looking for uh, a couple of signature wins that will get them back on track, uh, both in the Basketball Champions League and also in Italy. So you see Tomas Jimsha, who uh, I thought played very well for Lithuania during the break. Uh, and Sokolowski played well for Poland during the break. And Coach uh, Manetti, I think, has every reason to believe his team can come out and get the job done tonight as he shakes hands with the referees and then with coach uh, Pedro Martinez. So this part of Italy certainly has played host to some big basketball games over the years. And as you can see, this is a magnificent arena. And if you're ever in this part of this neck of the woods, you need to make sure that you get over here. And enjoy the surrounds. Uh, but they definitely have the look of a team that is focused, is concentrated, is locked in, uh, knowing how high the stakes are. And when you travel like Baxi Manresa, you do not want to have a long trip back home to the north of Spain. You want to come out uh, and you want to get a big win. You want to keep that momentum going. You don't want any doubts to creep in. But more important than anything, they need wins uh, to advance in this competition. Spanish teams really have been the teams that have made the biggest mark in the Basketball Champions League. Lenovo Tenerife. Of course, they've won the title in year one, and also Arena San Pablo Burgos have won the last two titles. So, Nicolas uh, Maestre from France, Giorgios Porcinitas, or Yorgos Porcinitas from Greece, and Paulo Marquez from um, Portugal on the right. So, Maestre in the middle there, and from France, and Porcinitas on the left. And there's Luke May, has really been rounding into form for this uh, Manresa team. He's had some big games this season, uh, but it really has been who is going to step up on any different night. Difficult night. It's, it's di difficult to tell, but look at that. Rafa Martinez, the veteran, getting the start tonight. Joe Thomason, Luke May, Danny Perez, and Yakin Kuba Sima. 
So Rafa Martinez, uh, one of the all-time greats, uh, who spent many, many years at Valencia Basket, uh, terrific uh, perimeter shooter, uh, clearly in the latter stages of his career. And Pedro Martinez uh, knows him well, and he's got him in his starting lineup tonight. And for neutral bullet Treviso, Dwayne Russell, Henry Sims, uh, Mikhail Sokolowski, Tomas Dimcha, and Nikola Akele in the starting five. So that last three there, all of them played in the international window for their respective countries. Sokolowski again for Poland, Dimcha with Lithuania, and Akele with Italy. And coach uh, Massi Miliano Minetti. All you can do is work hard and hope that it comes, uh, that it pays off. So in this game of the week, vital game again these teams uh having had uh, i think by any by these standards great seasons in the basketball champions league neither team wants that journey to end right now and both of them are on the outside looking in uh of the playoff spots when you consider uh, you need to be in the top two if you are going to progress from the round of 16. And one of the great things about Europe is, is you can travel pretty easily. You can get from Manresa to Treviso and make a nice uh, make a nice journey out of it. Good food in these parts. So you see Luke May coming out. He also uh, played professionally in Italy uh, last season uh, before coming here. So he fully understands uh, what's like. Uh, to play against teams from Italy and it's all about execution it's all about defense experience and Rafa Martinez already <laughs> working the referees tonight Number 17. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Treviso, Italy. Neutral bullet Treviso winning the opening tip against uh, Baxi Madressa and turning the ball over. So in the dark uniforms, Tim throws it out of bounds. Luke May inbounds it for Baxi Mendresa wearing the white tonight and attacking the basket to the left. See him a bounce pass and Luke May gets in and he makes the basket. He's fouled. So he's got a chance for a three point play to start the game. Gets it to drop. Sokolovsky brings it up the court. Now Demsha. Demsha puts it on the deck. Puts some pressure on Martinez. Demsha goes under. And Luke May with the rebound up ahead. They release early. And Thompson lays it up and in. Quick start uh, for Maxi Manresa. So again, neutral bullet Treviso uh, 
had to make it through the play-in uh, to get into this uh, round of 16 stage. They beat Laprio Megavolt. Here's uh, Sokolowski leaned into uh, the defender. They get it back. And a pass down low. And Demsha launches it from a way downtown. What about that? The three-pointer. Goodness me. That was a move from half court. And now the, the kick. You never know how a shot like that can impact the game. Left open and flying in for the rebound of Kele. Here's Russell. Sokolowski backing up Martinez. He goes right at him. Probably Rafa Martinez. Well, he can't have any complaints if he's going to reach in the way he did. Look at Dimsha. He looked up and he said, I'm just going to have to launch it. I mean, that is, uh, he's making that look like a regular jump shot almost. I mean, he was just inside midcourt, just inside the half court rather. And Sokolowski at the stripe. And gets both of them to go. So the game, not it. And a ball now thrown out of bounds by Thomason. And Pedro Martinez, the coach, saying, hey, why are you throwing it to me? It's one thing to throw a skip pass. Oh, boy, what a mistake. They give away an easy one. Right in the path of Danny Perez. Boy, those are the turnovers that will absolutely make your hair turn gray if you're the coach. And in Manete's case, well, he's got a shaved head, but you know what I mean. Now the turnover, Rafa Martinez and Luke May was off to the races, but without the basketball, can't the basketball. Now Perez. And the dump down low to Seba. And Seba maybe could have dumped that basketball. Instead, he misses an easy alley-oop. The dump and the basket is good by Akele, so a four point swing. Seba makes up for his last miss, so his first make of the night. Sims Jr. fouled by Perez. So, seeing the mismatch, and so far the uh, they've gotten some mismatches down low, and they've drawn the fouls. Look at Perez, beautiful bounce pass. Sim is going to come out, and Moneke is going to come in. And Moneke, clearly, as Sima goes out, has been one of the best players in this competition this season. Certainly one of the best players for Baxi Mandresa. Russell, bounce pass, and Sims Jr. goes up a little bit off balance. Sokolovsky knocks it away. Luke May has it. And Moneke has it taken away. Sims Jr. And that was short. 
Luke May dribbles down the baseline. Not sure Coach Martinez is uh, thrilled with his team's uh, decision-making on offense right now. And driving in and scoring with Sims Jr. Pass to Moneke, back outside, Thomason. So settles for the mid-range shot. There's not a look of contentment right now in the face of uh, Pedro Martinez. And Thomason reaching in. Now this will make him a, a little happier. Here comes Moneke coming in and a couple of easy baskets after turnovers have been scored by Maxi Manresa. That's a big no-no for Treviso. Sokolovsky drives in, gets swatted. Rafa Martinez, count it! That's what he's done his entire career, Rafa Martinez. Biggest lead of the game, game now for Manresa. As they go up 16 tonight, and Al Dempsey drives in. And Sims puts it back. Moneke takes the bump. And Sims is going to offer his hand. Sims definitely, uh, look at Sokolowski, what's going on? He's taking everybody on and then just turns, basically turns it over. Uh, Martinez goes the other way. So Aaron Jones comes into the game. If you're Maxi Manresa, you don't want this Treviso team to hang around and start to get get the feeling like this is going to be a, their night. You might not be able to deliver an early knockout punch, but at least you want to get on top of them. And it really f feels like both teams. I look at this. Some real mistakes as Valet comes in, gets the offensive rebound and put back. Man, Ressa have scored six of the easiest points uh, that you could have in this first quarter. Palette hails from Argentina, played a lot of minutes in the win over Fuen Lebron at the weekend. Here's Dimcha, and Valet knocks it away, but it's called for the foul. So Pettis comes out. And Danny Garcia comes into the game, number six. Sylvain Francisco also in the game, number one, with a white headband. He and Maneke both have white headbands now. Driving in, Russell. Oh, nice little runner. And good reach, almost a steal. For Aaron Jones. So both, both coaches bringing in the subs. Akela goes out, Densha goes out. Mateo Kilo comes in. And a turnover. Here comes Russell. goes in, puts it up and in, he's getting to the line as well. Great play. 
You can see the finish, and they go to help him up. So Luke May looks up at the scoreboard. It's only a four-point lead. after the three-point play for Russell Francisco and showing you his quality right from the off getting into the game you can see he's lively oh goes for the steal and Russell goes right past him a little bit of a gamble that didn't pay off but uh, Russell missed the shot and got the rebound Kilo over to Jones you're gonna leave me open and he says I'll take it, but he doesn't make it. Now Perez gets it back to Moneke. Perez quickly down low to Moneke. And then the foul called on Kilo for sticking his right knee out. Well, it didn't really stick his knee out, but I mean, he's just kind of moving his feet. Uh, but the referee thought he fouled him. Portolani comes in. Good shooter now for Treviso. And Russell goes out. Coming up on the two-minute mark here in the quarter. Quick ones on Kilo. Perez, Sima back in the game. Oh, Francisco, not sure if he lost it or had it knocked away. Doesn't matter because Danny Perez stepped out of bounds. from the floor and that includes from three point range Francisco meanwhile gets down low and gets an easy one Portolani again looked like uh, somebody stepped on his shoe and his foot came out of it he ought to ask the referee maybe for a timeout now he's going to try to take it off and lace it up. Imbro in the game. Looks, looks, looks a little frustrated upon his entry. Michele back in the game. And Kilo goes out. And he was pushed. Pushed by Bortolani. So Minoike at the line and a deep breath and now has four points he came in averaging 9.1 points 5.3 rebounds and Pedro Martinez knows very well he is one of his main players if they're going to 
achieve big things this season. Moneke has to be at the center of it. Imbro brings it up. And they get it to Akele. Oh boy, dangerous pass. This could be a backward violation. Sends Valet down. Aaron Jones picks up the personal and puts Valet at the line. Tough start to the game for Sokolovsky. Gets it to drop. So we're back up to an eight point advantage. This is a neutral bullet Treviso team that will put up a lot of threes. They can very easily erase what is now a nine point deficit in no time. Uh, with the final 30 seconds being played here in this first quarter. Dangerous moments, almost a turnover there by Bortolani. So about an eight second difference with the game clock and shot clock. Demsha. Passes it back outside. Bortolani. He wants to launch it. He does. And Moneke rebounds the miss. Here in the game of the week. Francisco. And that's how the first quarter finishes. Well, not the start that Treviso were looking for. They've turned it over cheaply a few times. That has been costly. And uh, back to Manresa lead it 27 to 18 over neutral bullet Treviso at the end of one. Each team with just one make, but you can see three more makes, one make from three point range, but Manresa with three more makes inside the arc and six of seven at the free throw line. Well, you want the best plays from the first quarter? We got you the first play, the, the best plays. And again, you can see some easy baskets being made by Manresa. This was uh, what you call making a silk purse out of a sow's ear there with the shot clock winding down. Dem should just let it fly. That long three-pointer. It was a nice bounce pass. And Sims Jr. getting that to drop, but here's one of the bad turnovers right at midcourt. And after another turnover, Rafa Martinez striking. Russell with a little runner. And he also got that three point play. <clears throat> and Francisco also coming out and making his mark on proceedings. Second quarter action underway with Manresa up nine and with possession. Oh, the bounce pass to Seema. It looked like Manresa with uh, Danny Perez maybe had a layup. One pass too many. Fortunate to keep possession. Perez inbounds it to Rafa Martinez and he hits another three. Boy, what uh, an inspired decision. Uh, to start Martinez 
And then he commits the foul. Probably at this stage of his career, not as uh, fleet of foot. And maybe a liability on defense. Rafa Martinez. But if he does this every time he takes his shot, who cares? Quick basket for Treviso. Imbro. Luke May over to Perez. Now quickly, Bortolani! And Marissa quickening the pace. They want to play it. But it seems to be benefiting Treviso right now. And the pump fake by Luke May gets Nikola Kale off his feet. And he's got three free throws coming. That was the fast break layup. Uh, just some of the, I mean, Luke May can hit the three pointer, but you definitely don't want to foul him while he's taking that three. So Treviso, their own worst enemy tonight, in many cases, turning basketball over, doing some things like uh, committing committing fouls like this. And Luke May makes all three. So he's got six points. Manresa go back up by 10 points. Portolani's got Demsha now on the wing. Demsha gets his way in. Spence turns and misses it. There was a Kale going for the basketball. Quick pass to Seema, bounce pass, Luke May! Boy, that was a... Go to the high post. And then deliver the bounce pass. So a little pick and roll, and then look for your teammate under the basket. So timeout called by Nutribullet Treviso, trailing by 12 points. In the times we have, we were slow to match up. Hey, there, ragazzi, we have to do three good things in defense and three good things in attack. We have to do three good things in offense and two three good things in defense. But you see Bortolani there, he's had a great season uh, shooting it from deep, but then again, uh, Baxi Manresa know that, so they've been getting a hand in the face. Bortolani 22 of 43 from deep. If uh, Treviso could get him some open looks, I'm pretty sure he'll take them. Imbro. Gets it back. Sims hands it off to Demsha. Thomason guarding him. And a pass stolen by Yankuba Sima. And Tomas Demsa commits the turnover, then commits, or turns it over rather than commits. It's a foul. That was not a happy look by Coach Manetti. Turnovers have been a problem. For Nutribullet Treviso and especially tonight. They've already turned it over seven times and, and following that turnover, Thomason comes down and strokes the three-pointer as Manresa have their biggest lead now of the game, 15 points. Imbro. 
try to get it right back. And now you have to wonder if Baxi Mandresa can lower the boom. Thomason turns into Sema, decides to go up, and draws the contact, so he earns a trip to the line. So Bortolani giving away uh, some centimeters there in height. This was Tom Thomason. And I think probably what has to be the most worrying or disappointing aspect, again, as you look at Thomason wide open hitting the three and Sims comes back in. The most worrying thing is that Baxi Minaresa have scored 14 points off turnovers. So every time it seems that Treviso turns it over, Manresa are scoring. His team likes to get out. They like to run. They like to push it quickly. You're doing them a favor. And they would like to take care of business early tonight. Demsha doesn't hesitate. And great rebound by Akele. Quick pass down low. And good response by Demsha. Fouled by Thomason. There is a long way to go. I mean, a lot can happen uh, between now and the final buzzer. Treviso, no, they just got to they got to hunger down on defense, stop turning the basketball over, and start making some shots. And Demsha, right now, just nothing seems to be working uh, for Treviso. And really, you know, the, the more established players that you would expect better. Oh, boy, they got a break there. Nobody boxed out Sims. Yeah, Demsha and Sokolowski having tough games tonight. And those are two of your main, most experienced guys. Thomason floats in and gets rejected. Now, that's the type of play that can change your fortunes. Quick pass up ahead. Bortolani. And they're calling the foul before the shot, but much better, much better for Treviso. Perez whistled for the foul. Good job, Akele, getting it up the floor quickly to Bortolani. So they will inbound the basketball. Trailing by 14. And I guess they're talking right now. Was it possibly an unsportsmanlike? They're going to have a look. Marcus Steinberg's also has uh, checked into the game for Baxi Manresa. So I think we'll get a look at the pictures to see if it's a possible unsportsmanlike. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what the decision is. And drum roll, please. Just a normal foul. Well, when you're trailing, you don't get calls like that. Bortolani from deep. Good. There he is. That's three pointer number 23 on the season. Thomason from the right. And suddenly a little bit of life for Treviso. Down by 11 points. Akele 
Find Bortolani. He just stroked a three. Demsha fouled by Perez. So Perez going out. So Bortolani, again, just 21 years of age. And he's got the basketball. Demsha from downtown. Good box out, or good job of getting the offense, uh, the defensive rebound there by Seema. Now Thomason runs to the corner. And Garcia has it knocked away. Now quickly up ahead through Bortolani. Oh, he throws it down on the break. Number eight is great. And it's back to a single digit deficit. Portolani might just hold the keys to the comeback for this Treviso team. Bounce pass over and Thomason spins, puts it up. Oh boy, that is a killer for Treviso. What a shot from Thomason right at the end of the shot clock. Imbro. And Sims. Oh, boy. Oh. And Thomason almost turned it over once, twice, and then he did. Good job by Imbro knocking it away, which led to the break. And the dunk. And then this was Thomason right at the end of the shot clock. Here's Bortolani. He goes down the lane. Oh, he scores again. Just get him the rock. Demsa moving his feet, almost forcing Thomason into another turnover. Shot clock winding down. Thomason, he's going to launch it. Nope, he's going to pass it. The three-point shot is off target by Garcia. Here comes Treviso. Oh, boy. Nightmare. Demsha. And to another easy two. Moneke. And the foul Steinbergs. Well, the turnovers have been absolute killers tonight for Treviso. Every time they turn it over, as you look at the dunk from Maneke, that is the result. And just a terrific take from Bortolani. already with three turnovers and we still have four minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first half I know he's trying to make things happen also two turnovers on Sokolovsky so they've got five of the team's nine turnovers two turnovers on Imbro two on Sims and again every time they turn it over Manresa punish them uh, but at least they're hanging around, trailing by nine points. Francisco shaking and baking, steps back. Aaron Jones, or Sims rather. Sims follows up the miss. He's going to put it up from the elbow. points in the paint for both teams but there is Moneke and again and he is fouled and you see Ismail Baco not even able to play tonight but slapping some skin with his teammates and Moneke is having a pretty good time out there 
He's got nine points. He's going to the line for 10. Timeout on the court by Treviso. Well, there's no doubt about the sense of urgency for the coach of Treviso, uh, Coach Minetti. Nine points, you can go to 10. And he does not, but look at that. Another rebound off a missed free throw for Manresa. Foulet. And again, it's little things like that that are big things. Here is a long two, and the ball goes out of bounds. So Garcia off target, and here is another chance for Treviso to get it back to single digits. This last three minutes or so in this first half is vital. Sim sets the pick. Now he rolls. Russell on the baseline. Good. Now Russell's been pretty tough. He's been scoring. He's got seven points. And now he forces uh, Francisco into a turnover. This was Russell at the other end. So coming in and making plays at both ends of the court. Portolani. That's a two if it drops. It is. Well, that'll frustrate him, but nevertheless, keep that scoreboard ticking over. Back to a seven-point deficit. Moneke open, but perhaps wisely decides not to chuck it. Here he goes. Thought about it again. And nice little runner from Garcia, and he is fouled by Sims. There's a kilo. I think it's Sims. Oh, maybe it is soccer loss. No, it's on Sims. Boy, that is a... You gotta wonder. Maybe a tough call. Aaron Jones goes out. Or sorry, comes in for Sims. Danny Garcia. Bends the knees. Now, the one thing you have to say about Manresa is they have, you know, been up by as many as 15 points in the game. And they have not put this Treviso team away. In fact, they've been, they've been up by 16 points. Sokolowski, down low. Aaron Jones, oh, he misses a shot, stays with it. And then the ball goes out of bounds, and they're going to catch a break. Boy, Jones has got to be able to finish that.
Russell with a little mazy run. He is just exciting to watch on offense. Number four. Nine points. Four of five from the floor. Russell. Luke May back in. Keeps the basketball. Pulls up on the baseline. Oh, silky smooth. Luke May. He's got eight. No, excuse me. Ten points now for Luke May. Sokolowski. Boy, Sokolowski. Putting it up there. Gets it back. Back to the basket. Goes to work. And offensive foul. Swinging the elbow. A little bit. Finding it tough going tonight. Yeah, he led with his left elbow. His left raised his arm. And they're going to look and see if it's another sportsman like. his left forearm left elbow right here he definitely called him and the question is was that intentional decision and a sportsman like is the call so that is two free throws and possession and boy it has been a nightmare game for Sokolovsky he's got two points of two he's made both of his free throws he's got a couple rebounds he's turned it over three times Garcia punishes Treviso at the other end, and they will also maintain possession. Manresa, Francisco. Francisco, boy, just kind of lost control of it. Imbro over to Russell. And Russell. Went for the basket. I mean, there was contact. Uh, but it looked like the law of verticality there. I mean, it just, uh, the man wrestling defender just went up. Watch this. He's got to make that shot. He's been good tonight, Russell. But he just did not make the layup. There was some contact. There's no doubt about it. And now the complaining has led. I believe the led to a technical foul. So Luke May goes to the line and makes the free throw. And Minetti complains. No, absolutely no fault of Garcia who in the space of less than a minute has drawn an unsportsmanlike foul on Sokolovsky and then a, a technical foul after that great defense. But Russell now comes back and it's Francisco who's out of sorts a little bit. Francisco not having a great game tonight. Three point shot, short. And again, Francisco got his hand on it.
Ibro takes the inbounds pass. Goes up. Well, did not finish as he was hoping. So, Francisco for three. Now Valdez. Fouled from behind by Imbro. I don't get that. You're putting him on the free throw line. Well, the Argentinian is going to the charity stripe with a chance to take it back up to a 14 point advantage. And Moneke is going to come in. And you better believe Baxi Manresa will be sending players to the glass here on these free throw attempts on the second. Luke May takes a seat and a sip. And Valet. So the lead 13. So Treviso presumably would like to have uh, the last possession here. Manresa picks him up full court. And the trap. And able to get it away just in the nick of time. It's not a horrible foul by Garcia as he puts Kilo on the line because now Manresa are going to get it back. You would think. So Luke May comes back in. I think Paolo Marquez saying you've got blood. He was wanting to see if he had a cut maybe and it's going to make him go out, but now he's decided he can stay in. And Kilo makes the first. points of difference so Akele comes back in for defensive purposes and Akele go, Akilo goes out see him back in and Francisco and another cheap foul it's the reach you've got the height just move your feet, raise your hands. Watch this. No, it wasn't the reach as much, it was the body. Got him with a little bit of a bump. Francisco has four points tonight. And make it five. Still 5.4 seconds left. And again, you want to make sure you get this rebound. If you are Treviso, there is no rebound. So they've got a little bit of time to get it across midcourt. Russell. And again, they're going to get a shot off Thomason. Boy, that would have really added insult. And Russell looking for a little bit of a contact foul, but a couple of times he has not gotten it. And Manente and Treviso have to go back to halftime and try to reorganize here on the game of the week. They're 0-2 in the round of 16 in danger of falling to 0-3. They've had plenty of fight to get back into it. Uh, but maybe they've uh, been their own worst enemy at times. As Baxi Manresa leading it 55-42 at halftime over neutral bullet Treviso. So 18 of 22 at the free throw line from Manresa doing a lot of damage getting to the charity stripe. Treviso out rebounding them. Nine of their 20 rebounds coming on the offensive glass. But look at that. Eight more assists for Manresa and four more steals. 
Meanwhile, Bortolani has a game high 13 points. Russell with nine, Sims eight, and Luke May has 12 points. Moneke and Thompson each with nine for Mandresa. Well, if he drives with some of the best plays, that was certainly one of them, Dimsha. But that's probably been the highlight for him tonight because it's been a tough night for him and for Sokolowski, two of the team's uh, more veteran players. And uh, again, the, the, the biggest issue in, from my standpoint has been the easy looks, the turnovers leading to the, uh, the baskets. Actually, Manresta scoring 18 of their 55 points off turnovers. And Rafa Martinez coming out and hitting a couple of uh, long jumpers. And there have been times when they've been able to get out and run at Treviso. One of the many assists tonight, one of the 16 assists. And then Thompson, one of the threes Delaney did a great job of getting out on the break and making sure that wasn't coming out. But then that was a killer. Treviso on a run, and Thomason silences them and the crowd at the end of the shot clock. Moneke has been tough. He's got the nine points. Russell again has been good for the most part. Bortolani, of course, has the game high, 13 points. That was a two. And Russell was really good offensively in this game until late. So the leading score is that man right there, Luke May. And he's been getting, you know, scoring early with the three-point play. He got fouled while shooting a three-pointer. Went to the line, made all three free throws. Look at that, six of six at the free throw line for Luke May. Hey. And Bortolani, well, he's had some jumpers and he's had some baskets on fast breaks like this one. Great control after catching it. Showing you why he's already been selected to play for Italy's national team in the windows. He's a talent. And this was, again, a getting out on the break and flushing it. So at halftime, it's back to Manresa leading 55-42 over Nutribula Treviso here in this round of 16. Group J clash in Treviso. So as we see the Bortolani impact once again, Treviso will be hoping more from number eight in the second half. 55 42, Manresa on top at the break. Carnielskis finds Guerra, throws it down, and he gets the at one. Well, Frank Guerra, mi amigo, muchos gracias. Frank Guerra set the screen, and then he said, bienvenidos a La Laguna. Right now, Dario Georgia, DJ Stephens now kicks out to Lukashov. Lukashov goes up, gets rejected. Well, Amina Prima, fifth block of the night. Get one more time. This is the house of Palua Sten. Amina Bremer. 
One of these teams will be there. You know they're dreaming about it. Alley you pass. Oh goodness me! Elijah Stewart. He comes up. He's got Luke May ahead of him. Oh, it's a nutmeg. And Luke May lays it up. It is showtime. Maxi Maressa basketball. Garcia, look at this. The soccer fans would say, oh, Leo Nutmeg. But here they'd say, Sami Manressa. Go. It's a big shot. It's a huge three. Chris Go has done it again. What a finish. He shrugged off Mooney. He sent up a three. He levels the game. And he'll get a chance to win it as well. Pedro Martinez right beside me. So, yeah, what was the key factor to lead by 13 points right now? Was it a high-intensity basketball you showed? Uh, yes, uh, we played with a great rhythm. Uh, but in defense, we suffered in the defensive rebound and some problems at the defensive balance, too. Uh, we need to, to improve our defense but trying to play with, with the same rhythm and uh, ready for shot as soon as possible because if we have advantage, we don't have to play without. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. That was quite a tough first half, 13 uh, points below. So what's going to happen in the second half? Yeah, it was... Sicily is really simple, our game. They score 18 points of, out of our turnovers, and that's the game. Uh, from a side, our turnovers that they force for their way to play. Uh, but from the other side, also, we have to take care. Uh, they bring also his advantages. So at the end, we was like 20 points of gift. But we are in the game. We have to trust on what we are doing, change our faces and trust what we are doing. So we have to face them without fear and thinking about just at the score at the end. Then good luck for the second half. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, that was
was definitely my take as well. It was the turnovers. You take those turnovers away, and maybe the odd, you know, fouling the three-point shooter, uh, a couple of other incidences, uh, things that happen, technical foul, you know, it's a close game. You simply can't not turn the basketball over uh, that many times and expect to win a uh, basketball game. 16, excuse me, 11 turnovers. Uh, leading to 18 points for Baxi Manresa. And Baxi Manresa have taken full advantage of their opportunities getting to the free throw line. And you have to tip your hat to them in that sense, shooting 81.82%. They've led from start to finish. Luke, Luke May, 11 points. Uh, pacing. Back to the so, so far tonight. So, neutral ball Treviso, you would think, would be looking for some more of the Bortolani effect. Uh, they need him to play big minutes if they're going to overhaul this deficit. He's got 13 points. He's played. 12 minutes and so his coach was able to bring him in off the bench uh, but where it has not worked for Treviso tonight for whatever reason has been Tomas Dimsha and uh, Mikhail Sokolowski uh, those two combining for five points on one of eight shooting from the floor two of four at the free throw line and uh, a couple of assists Three rebounds uh, and a combined six turnovers. And of course, uh, Sokolowski also had the unsportsmanlike foul. So it's been a very difficult game for those guys. I think Valette's been very important for this team as well tonight. Five points, three rebounds. But you can see a way back in the game for Treviso. I think uh, they're not afraid to play the fast game, get up and down the floor. And they're going to have to make some shots. But they need to take good shots as well. And uh, they took a lot of bad, bad shots, a lot of rush shots, trying to get to the basket. Uh, but more important than that is they have turned it over. So Treviso coming into this 0-2 in the round of 16 and hoping their 21-year-old can provide the same lift that he did in the first half, maybe even more, as they look to avoid going into an 0-3 hole. Manresa coming in at 1-1. One one. So second half action is underway. And a hold has been called, I believe, on... Manresa. So that foul called on Luke May. Sims starting the second half. Portolani gives it back to Sims, and he's fouled by Sima.
So Bortolani gets it over to Demsha. Russell. And three point shot is good from Bortolani. He picks right up where he left off in the first half. He's got 16 points. Uh, what a superb effort from the 21 year old. Now the bounce pass at the feet of Seema. He's able to pick it up. Almost a turnover. Foul that bounce pass. And this time Seema had a chance for a three point play if he makes that. Instead, he has to go to the line and take two. And the foul called on Bortolani. So Seema takes his time, makes the first. That's Bortolani's third foul. So you have to say that is not a good development for Treviso. Seema bends the knees and only makes one of two. So a small moving here for Treviso at the start of the second half. You feel like Manresa have just not slammed the door shut at all. Demsha fades and just grazes the net. Good work by Bortolani. Now he gets it back, and Thomason comes out to guard him, so he gets it to Sims. And Sims works his way down there, earns a trip to the line. Second quick foul here on Sima. Yakuba Sima. Watch the defense. So he's moving. Out. Every free throw vital. And Sims gets both to go. So it's back to single digits. Takes a seat with the fouls, and Moneke comes back in. Thomason calls the play, guarded by Bortolani. Remember, Bortolani does have the three fouls. And Perez dumps it off to Moneke. Well, it's hard to believe they could have that many players in the lane under the basket, and Moneke could still get a layup. Quick pass, they'll get it right back from Akele. No, he's blocked, but Sims there for the follow. And he's got a chance for a three-point play. So Sims doing his bit in the third quarter. Great work on the offensive glass. And Sims, indeed, now with 13 points. And you can see Minete believing it's there for the taking for Treviso. They got to keep the momentum going. Thomason tries to make the bounce pass to Moneke. And the kick. So there'll be 15 on the shot clock. Just misses the reverse. Demcho on the break over to Russell. Quick pass intended for Akele, batted out of bounds by Moneke. Well, I like it they're not settling for jump shots, uh, but they've got to make those passes crisp. Akele dribbles. Goes to work. Back inside. Demcha steps back. And another miss for the Lithuanian International. 
And now to Maneke, he hands it off, and the ball batted out of the hands of Valet. Wapi Valet. Good job by Russell. May, again, denied. And they're in such a rush to push the ball up the floor to get an easy basket that they turned it over. Oh, behind the back pass, Moneke. Oh, boy, that is a killer. And more of the same from the first half. Not just for Moneke, but for the turnovers leading to points. Bortolani, good. I mean, he could not play any better, folks. He's got 19 points. Thomason, a little runner, turns it over. Treviso, looking to run. They cut it back to seven. Sims, he's going to work on May. And I think he was, if he'd controlled himself a little bit better, clearly he would have had a layup. So Russell happy to give away the foul there instead of letting Maneke go to work on him. That was a behind the back pass, put it on the highlight. A real. And Bortolani just continues to produce. As the clock winds down, back to Maneke. I think it's a two. If it drops, it is. Gosh, Maneke. Frustrated he didn't get a three. He didn't have his foot behind the line. But even so, 16 points for him. Sips. And blocked by, from behind by Luke May, who came down to help out. Quick pass, Maneke. And Maneke again goes to the free throw line. So timeout on the court by Treviso. Let's go down to the huddle and try to listen in. But before we do, let's look at this play one more time, uh, which was the foul by Sims. So Maneke really looking like the player that just will not be denied tonight for Baxi Manresa. Just comes in, runs the floor well. And Pedro Martinez has done a nice job coaching this team. There is no doubt. And Maneke, I think, just wants to play fast, wants to get up the floor. Uh, but his team has just shot itself in the foot tonight by turning the basketball over. Sokolovsky back in the game, and the, balls go off, the ball goes off the hands of Sims. 
Just one of those nights. Thomason comes out. Francisco back in the game. Four and a half minutes now into the third quarter. Oh, Russell thought he might have a steal. He gambled a little bit. Steinberg's back in the game as well. to Maneke and once again and he is fouled it starts with the penetration if Perez gets to the lane then he draws the defense and then his teammate just has to slide in it doesn't matter who it is but it's usually Maneke and Maneke gets the free throw to go so if you're gambling, trying to jump in the passing lane or trying to knock it away from behind, if you don't come up with a steal, you're giving away the layup. Here's Russell, and much better finish that time. Portolani has some type of friendly exchange with Muneke as he goes out of the game. Oh no, he's going to stay in the game. Ten points, the difference. Francisco. Open and Allen knocks down the three. Boy, almost another turnover. Sokolowski able to beat Valet to the basketball. Quick pass to Sims. Oh, nice bounce pass. White play finished by Akele. Good job by Sims. Looking for the cutter. Moneke. Well, it could be that his coach will give him that one, but no more. An offensive foul called on Sims. Trying to establish position there. Here it is again. That was the beautiful. Receives the pass and just delivers a perfect bounce pass. Aaron Jones back in the game. So Sims taking a rest. Francisco. Valet will it be two in a row. No, it will not be for him. Russell chases it down. Gets in the paint and puts it up and in. I mean, you got to be happy if you're Treviso coach Manente with Russell's ability to finish in the lane. For the most part, he's been really good. And again, it's back to a nine-point deficit. Garcia in the game. Makes the pass to Valet. He gets down to the baseline, gets it to Maneke. And great job by Akele to get the basketball. Russell, bounce pass behind the back. Unbelievable. What a play by Russell. Terrific from Treviso. And this time they force Manresa to call the timeout. It's game on, folks. Here in the Palo Verde. Look at the slick behind the back pass. And Akele for the second time in the quarter. Runs the lane well and gets the layup. To 
terrific, terrific fight back. For Dani, uh, for, for Juan, for Juan, okay? Uh, Vega, for Rio, okay? For Rio, good. Now, for example, you play now Fondo, okay? Fondo, vale? Si? Vale? Vega, vamos, okay? Ready for pass the ball, okay? Venga, vamos, vamos. Not too much said there by Pedro Martinez other than more rhythm. Looking maybe for a little more, a little better passing. Just wanted to interrupt the run and also get a couple of fresh bodies in. Thomason comes in. He's got the basketball. See if it makes a difference. And he thought about it. Steinbergs hands it off. Here's Thomason again. Entry pass, all oh, wide open, Steinbergs. And maybe Treviso fortunate that Manresa did not get the ball to the player that they wanted to shoot that three in the end. Bortolani steps back for three. Good. I mean, he is just possessed tonight. 22 points, or was that a two? Four or five from deep. He has been electric. That was indeed a three. Thomason mid range. Off the dribble. Well, you feel like with Bortolani, any shot he takes is a good shot. It doesn't matter. Oh, beautiful cut from behind by Russell. And in the end, decided to put up the jumper rather than going straight up. And now quickly to the other end. And it's going to be Francisco launching it. So a couple of misses from deep for Manresa. Sokolowski over to Jones. Russell from downtown. Good! Goodness me, it's a three-point game! They led by as many as 16 points, Manresa and Treviso battling back. Fighting for their basketball Champions League lives tonight. They're 0-2 in dire need of a win. Here are the round of 16. Oh, that is ice in his veins. Young Garcia getting it right back. He has had a huge influence on this game. His defense. And some of his offense as well. And Jones, boy, that was weak. You got to go to the basket, draw the contact, and get to the line at bare minimum. Sima. And Jones takes it away. And again, it goes off the hands of Sokolowski. The turnovers just continue to plague Treviso. And at the worst of times here at the end of the third quarter, they don't want to commit a foul here and put them on the line. Thomason has it. Jones looks up. And Thomason banks into three. And it's been that kind of night. It's been that kind of night for Treviso. Even when things are kind of going well for them, the other team gets the ball back at the end of the quarter and banks in a three. Unbelievable. Thomason hitting from mid-range and just doing a little bit of everything right now. He's got 14 points. This is Bortolani with a turnaround jumper from three-point range. I mean, that, that guy can just flat out shoot it. Three quarters in the books. Maxi Manres to lead it 76-67 over Nutribullet Treviso. Well, Treviso is actually out shooting him now from deep. 
and they both have the same number of makes inside the arc. It's the free throw line where Manresa have made more. Well, this is, a, this is not a game that is short of highlight reel plays. Bortolani has been terrific, especially from three-point range. He's got 22 points overall. He's 4-5 from deep. Moneke has been tough. They haven't been able to deal with him. And Sims was very good early in, for the first half of that third quarter. One of the plays of the game there, no question with Perez with the behind the back pass. Can Treviso summon enough magic up here to get the win? Again, as you look at Moneke hitting a long two and Thomason making the pass on that play. Russell getting out on the break. He's got 16 points. And Valet joining the three-point shooting parade. Imbro has checked into the game, number 12. So he is guarding Garcia. Francisco also in, as well as Luke May, Sima, and Thomason. Thomas has got it. He puts up another one and gets it to drop. And just like that, Matt Rissa back up by 11 points. Imbro dribbles himself into trouble. He's able to get rid of it. Kilo now down to Aaron Jones. And Imbro rattles into three. Luke May doesn't mess around and he gets it right back. Mayday, Mayday, number 33. 14 points for him. That's his first three of the, of the night. Aaron Jones taking on Sima. Nope, out the kilo. Now Imbro. And Imbro was a little bit short. Thomason rebounds and runs. Garcia, tough to keep up with him. Puts up a little runner. Jones, oh boy, that is a tough pass. You gotta make the bounce pass. And Luke May behind the arc and puts in another three. Well, you turn it over and, and the other team scores and it is uh, a death knell for your chances as Manresa go back up by 14 points. Well, they, they just feels like they had just pulled it to three and now it's back up to 14. So Dempsey checks back in. Sokolovsky. Garcia raises his hand. Will this end up being the decisive run? And again, another turnover. Manres and knowing the basketball is coming in. And Luke May doesn't mess around. And Luke May is just needs a heat check right now from three point range. Goodness me, 20 points for Luke May. And how many times are we going to say it? You turn it over, you get punished. De facto, we did two overs, they scoring fast break. Okay, so forget that. Very important, guys. After our job on the last closeout, guys, they cannot do two dribble and easy jump. On the last closeout, we have to be tough. They all one on one. You understand what I mean? Check watch, they're gonna batter. They get beat us because they are doing pressure.
discussion. No way you are doing, we are contained. If we contain the 101, we all the 101. Avete capito? You understand what I mean? Dai, ancora, ricominciamo da nuovo. Ricominciare, dai, forza. Ancora, l'attacco, Matteo. Ricominciamo bene con un 5. Ok, with 5. Or with 2. Quello che sai, buono zipper e giochiamo il piccarol. Dai, forza. Seventeen points, the difference. Dimcha. And Kilo with the rebound goes right back up and can't get to go, but there the follow with Sims. Luke May. Ambro and Thomason reaching around and committing the foul. Kilo for three, and yeah, much better. And suddenly it's back to a 12 point game. Every time you want to think this Treviso team is dead and buried, they start to make some shots. Francisco, oh, oh boy. So many weapons, and they've got the rhythm, as their coach says. They've rediscovered it themselves. Attempts to trying to make the pass, and the reach by Imbro goes out of bounds. I mean, the way this is heading is you just feel like it's going to be the story of the game, the points off turnovers. For Manresa, they've got 30 points off the turnovers. The 18 turnovers committed by Treviso. Francisco. Ambro missing. And May, quick outlet pass up ahead. And there's a great hustle by Sima and Manresa. Sokolowski knocked out of his hands. They stay with it. Kilo fouled in the paint by Luke May. So you're trailing by 17. What you don't want to see is May picks up his fourth foul is uh, Moneke come back into the game. Sims from three-point range. Francisco has it. Manresa, 10 of 22 from three-point range. And I got a feeling they're gonna end up with some more, but there's Moneke once again coming into the game and making the immediate impact. Sims has it, and he follows, he puts it up, he's stuck with it. And Sims double-double tonight, pretty impressive, 17 points, 10 rebounds, but Valet scores. And they're just trading baskets. And, it, and really, the you know, men are actually going to get to the 100 mark tonight with a lot of time left. Luke May rebounds and runs. Good hustle back by Kilo. 
And then it is Garcia. Well, Maneke has 20, Luke May has 20 points. Uh, Joe Thomason has 16 points. Fowlette has 10 points. You got four players in double figures. You're shooting 56.14% from the floor. You're making your free throws, 22 at 28. And you're forcing a lot of turnovers. Uh, there's not a lot to uh, complain about, really, if you coach uh, Pedro Martinez. Thomason. Sims again just battling away. I don't think that's uns I don't think that was intentional. Seventeen points, ten rebounds. And it's just not been a fun night for that coach right there. But you know, again, you need some context here. You need some maybe this isn't what Treviso want to hear, but you come through the qualifying, you make it to the regular season, you then make it to the qualification to the quarterfinal or to the uh, round of 16 and you do that. I mean, you've done pretty well to get this far, but I think what's disappointing for Treviso has to be they haven't been as, I, I don't want to say competitive because, I mean, they have been competing, but, but, you know, to suffer a blowout loss to Tofash and then to come out tonight and just not play as well as you're capable of, that has to be frustrating uh, for the coach. And the travel, another turnover. You know, a lot of it, a lot of it has to do with the uh, the play of Manresa. You got to give him some credit. It's not an easy team to play. And there are probably people right now who are are, are penciling in this Manresa team to at least get to the final four in Bilbao. Uh, but there's a long way to go. Sokolovsky with a steal. Gets rid of it to Russell. Elects not to attempt the three, but then turns it over. And it just seems like it's been that kind of night all night long. Every decision almost backfires. And you can see Manete telling him, Russell, you got to shoot that basketball, and you're open from three. So Kilo commits the foul. game against guess who <laughs> in a few days they'll play this back to man rest of the team so it doesn't get any easier for neutral bullet treviso that game will be in manresa Three. Well, it's 
back to a 12 point game. It's not over yet. Stranger things have happened. Thomason, Seema, and Seema banks it in, and well, maybe it is over. 98 84. Russell fouled. That was a three by Kilo. Bullet Treviso again, they're falling to 0 and 3 in this game, unless uh, there's a miracle turnaround here at the end. And they are struggling in, it in Italy as well. They're just looking for some type of spark. Sokolovsky goes down, he might have uh, run into his own teammate, and that is just. Yeah, I think he did. I think he ran into Sims. It's been that kind of night. Well, Sims had his arm extended and Sokolovsky ran into him. A tough night at the office. Uh, but Treviso will have to put this behind them. They got important games coming up. Thomason down to May. Boy, Luke May. Luke May, seven of 11 from the floor now, 22 points. Three of three from three point range. So Luke May goes out of the game. Picks up his fifth foul. Steinberg checks into the game. And with one or two remaining. One minute remaining, nine points for Kilo and Manresa have already reached the century mark. Portolani reaches in and commits to foul on Francisco. But I think Portolani is just tired by this stage. And traveling on Francisco. I mean, if you're splitting hairs, you'd say Francisco hasn't played as well as he's capable of tonight. He's turned it over four times. He's got nine points, but he's three of eight from the floor. Russell. And again, back to a 12 point game. Well, they'd like to get a stop and score again to get it back to a 10 point game if possible, or maybe nine. Manresa. You never know. Try to go out and win by 12, 13 points. 
but that's not going to happen. Francisco has just gone down and scored yet again. Bortolani. So a very tough night at the office for Treviso. They, they could get out of their way at times, especially in the first half. You know, they had their moments. They closed the gap to three points in the second half. Uh, but just could not maintain that level of play they needed to to beat this very good Baxi Manresa outfit from Spain. Uh, it was led by Luke May and his 22 points. 20 points as well for Maneke, four, uh, 16 for Thomason, 12 for Francisco. After that last three, 10 points for Valette. So five players finish in double figures. You know, Baxi and Ressa come out and get it done. They don't even have Baco tonight. And he, you know, with the, with the hand injury, and just demonstrates how good, how deep, how talented they are. Akele and the players say thank you to the fans for coming out and supporting them tonight. Frustrating. Uh, evening for everybody involved with Treviso as they drop to 0-3 in the round of 16. Meanwhile, Baxi Manresa and their traveling support are going to leave with all smiles on their faces. They win it 103-88 to over neutral bullet Treviso. Well, figure, figure it out, folks. Uh, one more three, few more made shots inside the arc, some more free throws. I mean, Treviso, look at that. I mean, that is bizarre, isn't it? 43 to 25, they out-rebounded Manresa, but Manresa didn't have many rebounds to, to get on their, on their own end. Uh, uh, May, Moneke, Thomason uh, leading the way. Portolani, 22 points. Russell, 21. Sims, 19. Uh, but the problem was the turnovers. And just 12 turnovers for Matt and Ressa. 21. Henderson, you lost the game today, but there is always a good side Trevisa. on it. You're back on the pitch. How did it feel to play today? Uh, it felt good to play today. Uh, you know, I wish I could have done more to get the win, but it felt good being out there with my guys. So you have suffered a long period of COVID-19. How do you feel at the moment? Um, I feel good. You know, I'm still getting my body back in game shape. Um, but, you know, I, I feel good. I'm working every day to get back the way I to back, get back to normal. So what was the problem today? Um, I think it was too many turnovers for us. I think we we're playing too um, excited. We didn't cherish possessions like we should have. Uh, defensively, we had too many lapses, too many mistakes. You know, everybody, me included. So. You know, uh, next couple of days, we got to figure it out, get back to the drawing board, and then we see him again on Thursday. It was really close in the third quarter. What happened then? Um, I think it was, you know, we, we, we got up, we got close, and then, you know, we made a couple mistakes that kind of bit us in the butt, and we weren't able to recover. Okay, thank you very much, and good to see you back in court. Thank you. Thank you. So those were the words of Henry Sims and uh, really did come out and, and you just uh, saw how he gave absolutely everything. It wasn't always pretty. It wasn't always effective. But one thing you could not question about Sims was the effort. And uh, as long as he gives that kind of effort, this Treviso team with their big fella back, uh, they're a better team. And they'll be looking to uh, maybe get a win later this week when these two teams meet in okay, a few days go. time. So yeah, that was quite a tough game. You know, you suffered a lot in the in the in the last quarter. So what happened in the third quarter? It was really close at that point of the game, but you couldn't execute it. Uh, maybe we're tired and uh, we play a tough game. We played two days ago, so for us it's not easy. So. It's not a good moment, but, you know, we try, but maybe we are tired. So what's going to happen in the next games? I don't know. Now we go to Spain and uh, I don't know if we can again uh, play for the top eight. 
but try to play our best. So yeah, you played really well today. Is that something you can build on? Uh, I'm happy, but you know, uh, when you play good uh, and you lose, no matter at all. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, just one of the outstanding talents in the Basketball Champions League. And he's young, Giordano Bortolani, and a player to be excited about if you're Italian, a player to be excited about if, uh, if you're a fan of Treviso basket. Uh, there's only one way up for him, and that is, there's only one way for that guy, and that is up. So Bortolani was, was really uh, borderline spectacular tonight uh, for many of the 27 minutes and 25 seconds that he was on the court. So a lot for him to build on, but as he said, it, it comes as no solace his performance if his team loses. And now he's doing the duties of uh, signing the scarves uh, for some of uh, the fans. So look, you played with high energy today, even from the beginning to the last second. You look quite exhausted right yeah, now. It was, it was a good game. You know, it's always good to win. And uh, we had a great team win. We battled from the very beginning. And uh, on the road against a very good Treviso team, uh, it, was a, it was a good good game. Even in the third quarter where it was really close, you didn't stumble. Yeah, I mean, we got to pick it up in the third quarter. We uh, the past couple of games, we struggled in the third quarter. but. Uh, we uh, played played well enough to get the win tonight uh, on the road, and uh, we'll uh, see them again in a couple of days. So it'll be another tough game. You know, the strange thing with you is that you have quite good statistics, uh, not at home ground, on, on the foreign ground, but what happens at home? Uh, I don't know. I guess I need to figure out a better routine. Huh? But uh, I just uh, feel like on the road, we're uh, more focused and uh, trying to win. In college, uh, I've always been focused on uh, my coach was so important about winning on the road. and. I think that's the big thing that we're, I'm doing here, and I got to play a lot better at home, that's for sure. So thank you very much, and good luck with that. Thank you. Yeah, Luke May did have 31 points when Manresa uh, played at Tofas. Uh, uh, of course, they lost that game, and referring to his time uh, when he was playing for Coach Roy Williams at North Carolina. So the back to Manresa faithful making the way down the steps at the Palo Verde. Hopefully they can nip out and get a pizza tonight. They did their part to to help their team win. You know, if you're a player out there watching and you look up and you see some of the people that have traveled, you feel like you got to give that little bit extra uh, for them for them because they have indeed made the trip uh, to come and support you. And uh, Again, these teams are going to do it all over okay. again in a few days' time in Manresa. Joe Thomas is with us. So there was quite a good team effort today, but you, you, you have such high energy on court. So yeah, was it fun to play here in Treviso today? It was great. It was my first time visiting Italy. I wanted to leave a great impression, come out here, play at a high level, and, and get a win. And we did that. So. Um, I feel good right now. So the good thing is you have a lot of fans here. Our fans are unbelievable. We have the best fans in the ACB, maybe in Europe. You know, they support us 100%. Um, they're never satisfied, um, and we love them. We play off the energy that they give us. You know, when we're down at times, they help give us an energy boost, and we appreciate that. So are you impressed what uh, did Treviso in the third quarter because it got really close the game in the end? I mean, Treviso is a good team. Basketball is a game of runs. Um, we knew that coming in, it was going to be tough playing here because we we're in their home gym. But we just have to stay the course, believe in what we do, um, have faith in our, our energy and our efforts, and, and listen to the coaching staff. And like I said, they're a good team. Credit those guys. But we took their best punches, and we, uh, you know, we gave them a haymaker at the end. <laughs> okay, that was good. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. Thank you, guys. Okay, the words of the Ohio native Joe Thomason. And now we get a chance to look back at some of the plays. And again, you can't speak highly enough of the effort of Bortolani. And really, 
I don't think it was an issue of effort at all for Treviso. It was just their, some of their decision making, uh, some of their turnovers, and it was just uh, ruinous in the end. And against a back team and Manresa team that knows how to take advantage. And the more that you watch uh, Manresa play and you can appreciate uh, the performances, uh, the talents of players uh, like Moneke here, who's just versatile uh, offensively, you know, does a good job on the other end of the court as well. You get Valette, who is much better than you would uh, you give him credit for. He's in there battling away for rebounds. He can hit the three. You know, Bortolani is out here having to hit turnaround three-pointers just to, to try to keep his team in the game. Russell, I thought, really played hard tonight. There was a spell right at the end of the first half where maybe he dipped a little bit. And uh, But overall, you can't complain. Uh, again, in the effort department, it was just uh, some of the decisions. And they were playing against a team that has been one of the best in the Basketball Champions League all season long. Luke May coming out and scoring the second uh, most points that he has scored in the competition this season. Getting uh, 22 to lead his team to victory on the road. And I think we're really Treviso suffered tonight. Uh, just uh, some of the veteran guys like Demsha and again Sokolovsky, not the continually pile it on them, but those guys have to play well uh, for this team if they're going to have a chance uh, to achieve something this year. Certainly advance in the Basketball Champions League uh, to the quarterfinals and also uh, in to stay, to stay in the top flight of Italian basketball. So tough night for Treviso and uh, they just have to get through this difficult spell and you, you heard Bortolani talking about how it ha has been difficult they have had to play some games they're piling up uh, some postponements they've had players who've been out uh, the likes of Sims with uh, COVID so it just all seems to to make it very difficult but Tofaj Bursa and Baxi Manresa now occupy uh, the top two spots and followed by Dar Shafika and Nutribullet Treviso so Darshafka and Tofas will be playing this week. And you've got uh, Baxi Manresa taking on Nutribullet Treviso later on, on Thursday. So 103-88, Baxi Manresa win it over Treviso.